we'll take a look back at the highlights. Robbie Slater, and here was that goal from Patrick Svansvike and all sorts of hope for the Mariners at this stage, but it was soon cancelled out. Yeah, it all started so well. Set piece, Svansvike with a towering header, thumping header. Good delivery from Pazanic, and they, they looked dangerous all night from set pieces, but they weren't to hold on to that lead. There's the reaction from Graham Arnold. Maybe it came a bit early. Penalty shout here on Kano. Should have been a penalty in my opinion. Wasn't given from the referee, who always is rather entertaining in himself. But you know, the Mariners then guilty of giving possession away in their own half. And wow, didn't they make him pay? Otani with the one-two with Cleo. Dominguez, the player of the match, comes in behind Frank Griffiths. Maybe got caught a little bit ball watching, but it certainly wasn't a quality finish from the class player on the pitch. Yes, Kashawa Raisal, the J-League champions from 2011 and the Emperor's Cup champions most recently on New Year's Day really found their swagger, but they had to keep out another set piece. It was Varnsweig with the header again and Sagano got down low to keep it out and then Fujita was on the line to lend a hand as well. But here is the class of Dominguez setting up Kudo for another chance. He just ran the show tonight well, number it. 10. You know, he ends up with two goals and an assist, but he could have had more assists and maybe another goal. But um, yeah, he was everything. Everything that was dangerous came from him. Kudo this time on the ball. Back to Dominguez, who actually started that move. Trent Sainsbury should have stepped up there. Wasn't offside. Cleo misses it. You see, if he stood up just there might have caught them caught offside. Clever finish from Kano. Just flicks it with the outside of his left boot past Matt Ryan, who had no chance on all of the goals that have to be said. And then you know, it got worse for them. Fujito, who didn't get forward that much in the first half. He was a real feature of that second half, sorry, feature of the first half. Deft little ball. There he is again. What a great finish that is from Dominguez. And Dominguez always caused those problems when he drifted in between the lines and got on the ball. Always looked threatening. Well, they got a penalty, and Brent, I might let you talk, talk us through this one. Yeah, this is in the 90th minute, so a chance to bring it back to 3-2, but the Mariners are fighting the spot kick psychologically at the moment. McGlinchey decided power was the option, but no elevation in it, and Sagano kept it out. They miss on match day one from the spot and match day two as well. Here's a look at what's coming up next. On match day three, the Mariners will be back at home against Giju, the Chinese opposition, while Kashua will head to Suwon to take on Eddie Bosnar and the Blue Wings. Coming up.